Hello. And now we're going to look at <clears throat> Eyeliner's High Heels. It's about um, advertising music. It's about sort of this uh, really strange uh, view of um, femininity that I grew up with in advertising, where it was like, you know, uh, all women need to be easy breezy, uh, that kind of idea. Um, grew up with a lot of ads for uh, nylons and kind of stuff, you know, these sort of professional women, but it was all sort of naive and kind of gross and working with that a bit to sort of make this uh, detournement of uh, advertising music, I guess, if uh, you want to get technical and postmodern about it. <clears throat> so we begin with this uh, EP Air, another classic patch. And it has uh, Guitar Rig 4 Ensemble on it, which is a chorus effect um, and widening. And what I was going for was, um, it sounds like cassette. It sounds like bad cassette. It's, it's got a hissy kind of uh, wow and flutter type um, modulation to it. And a, a long, a long-ish intro. Um, the slaps definitely get you somewhere uh, when they happen on the bass. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's like, oh, we're here. So just like a little slap to just wake you up. Then it slams into this big funky beat. A lot of shuffle on this, a lot of swing. But then ultimately it kind of goes into this really sort of naive brass melody. And it sounds a bit like a sort of home workstation keyboard, like home keyboard, kids keyboard type auto chord thing. This is the first song I discovered, the guitar mute patch this I love it we got our footsteps this is a re-recorded version of a sound canvas 55 um, footstep on the sound effects bank there was a MIDI module that came out with a really great um, set of sound effects and one of them was footsteps from high heels so and I think that the whole impetus for the song was to use these these footsteps. Yeah, so on the on the on the the brass stabs slightly too much um, vibrato, too much modulation. Just go full 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 bore into that. Oh, we've gone really out of here. Okay, let me just get back home. I've zoomed way out. Okay. Yeah, this this kind of second set of, of stabs. Play it straight, and then the second time it comes up, it's like, ooh. So it's a bit sort of daggy on purpose. It's a bit kind of nerdy. Um, your uncle dancing at your twenty-first. Thumbs out. Then the Stevie Wonder chromatic uh, harmonica tribute solo, which I did spend a long time on. Um, what is the arrhythmic song that he does the, um, I'm going to have to look this up. He does a, a chromatic harmon harmonica solo on a eurythmic song. This is important. There must be an angel playing with my heart. It has, has a really great um, chromatic um, harmonica, melodica solo and I'd heard it in the van when I was on tour with Ian Jorgensen and it stuck with me for months and months and months doing the idea of doing like a melodica solo so so crashing in crash right in with like a um, semitone kind of like a Crash intense and then sort of resolve by the end of it is, is the name of the game. So you can come barreling through the door all sort of dissonant and then you sort of um, mark out the scale a little more consonant, with a bit more consonants. 
and also you know um, modulation vibrato down here just go whole hog just go all the way And kind of having this parallel sort of ganging between the um, the the drum fill and the end of the end of the solo is totally uncool on purpose. Like to be like, oh, what would be really good just to almost play what the the chromatic um, harmonica is playing on the drum kit. So it's now 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 like this kind of sing songy like uh, just gives you a little something to to have a chuckle at. And there's M1 Twinkle again, like we saw in um, Sneakers for Men, this kind of transition effect, I use it all the time, either before the beat or on the beat. Um, it does something to the to the musical, to the listener's mind, where it's like, oh, here's a new section. Um, use that all the time. And it's a really great way of, of um, making sections not sort of sound like sound like there's too much of a jump or sound like there's not enough of a jump you can use a sort of transition run this is just the notes of the scale use this all the time this is a um, technique I figured out from sort of sound design using MIDI to make sound effects if you want to sort of make a you know a door closing in a fantasy game or something this kind of thing um, with the shaker programming shakers it takes incredibly long amount of time to get them right and I'm glad I put the work in with that one um, all of the drum tra tracks have gate reverb on them pretty sure eighth gate yeah when we see that that we know that's my preset for um for a one eighth note um, gate reverb so yeah, maybe there's not gate reverb on the that hi-hat bell. But yeah, make the beat nice and punchy, nice and hypey. Make it sound like advertising, you know, you want to buy this. In the, we end the tune on sort of the B section, we don't resolve it and we, we get to what I would call the uh, the newsroom ending. Um, this is to keep the tension up to the next song, um, sort of leaving it, leaving the business sort of half finished um, at the end of the song so that it, when it goes into the, into the next one you're sort of primed for a bit more development. And there's the, the big news reader ending. I always think this is like the uh, the start of the news show. So I end up writing a lot of stings and stuff for doing podcast themes and sort of sound design work and, and um, video game music. And this kind of idea of this sort of hard sting is something that I always... If, I, if I'm stuck on an ending, I'll just go for like the newsreader ending. You're like, tonight with eyeliner. You know, this kind of... At six o'clock. Um, what other little tidbits do we have about high angles? Yeah, so it's long intro, A, B, A, B, A, B, and then we're out. Um, yeah, because we get into payphone next, the song is a little bit of a, um, I call it air bleach. It's a little bit of a um, palate cleanser before the longer pieces turn up in the record. 
um, because payphone's quite a long one and it's quite it does linger quite a bit so just before that we'll put a a little bit of a short scene in before that but yeah nothing now much else sort of too special here I did try to slow it down and include it with the um, library's uh, corpus, there should be a uh, slowed down version initially that I didn't go with because it sounds too good at the proper tempo. Anyway, that's high heels. <laughs> 